A very good morning. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Roy Thinasije and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We kick start off today's bulletin from Mukono District. The Inspectorate of Schools in Mukono Municipality last week closed five schools which were found with no licenses. Mukono Municipality Principal Schools Inspector Olivia Bulia say the schools did not meet the required minimum standards. The schools include Aaron Pre and Primary School, Chitete Christian Nursery and the Primary School, Mutesa to Kindergarten, as well as Daycare Center in Chitete Village. Others are Blue Nile Junior School and Blue Light Junior School at Kasangalabi Village in Mukono Central Division. Bulia said the schools lacked quality classrooms. Others lacked toilet facilities for pupils and the teachers. And from Kabalori District, over 20 private schools in the district have been closed due to lack of sanitary facilities and operating licenses. The schools all located in Kasenda sub-county, Buliaha County, were closed by the resident district commissioner for Kabalori, Stephen Asimwe. Asimwe said 19 primary schools and one secondary school were found to be housed in dilapidated buildings and did not have quite quality teachers. He said the schools did not have valid licenses and lacked basic center facilities such as toilets and flowing water. They did not have qualified staff as well. The education ministry requires that all primary school teachers attain a minimum education and grade 3 certificate and all schools have to be a ratio of not more than 40 pupils per class and per teacher. The guidelines also call for appropriate seating facilities for the learners provision of self drinking water and one pit latrin or toilet for every 40 pupils according to sex before we move on to other headlining stories I have to tell you that your copy of the new vision is already out at only 2,000 shillings. The headlining story today is Museveni calls for dialogue on land. You can find this story on page 3. More in the new vision is the healthy pullout. And the headlining story is beating cancer with proper nutrition. And every Monday, remember, we have the infrastructure pullout. Everything about the infrastructure in Uganda can be found. And the headlining story is Northern Corridor works from a slumber. The details are right here, so get your copy. Uh, from the sports, uh, we have Lenny sets record. If you want to know who Lenny is, please get your copy of the new vision. And also, there is a countdown of the FIFA World Cup, which is only eight days to go. You want to know how to get here, please get your copy of the new vision. And remember, we are the leading daily. Uh, moving on to other stories across the country, we go on to Iganga a District where students of Iganga Secondary School have donated 220 units of blood as part of the celebrations to mark 60 years of the school's existence. The blood donation drive was held at the school's premises and the post office of Iganga Municipality. The school head teacher Moses Siranga said the exercise was aimed at helping expectant mothers and accident victims receive free blood to save their lives during emergencies. Seranga urged parents to encourage their children to always donate blood in order to save lives. The coordinator of blood donation collection of the Uganda Blood Transfusion Services in Busoga region, Paul Kagwa, said over 30,000 units of blood are required to help save lives of expectant mothers and children below five years. Finally, from Chotela District, the police are investigating circumstances under which a couple allegedly strangled their son for losing a bicycle. The incident occurred last Monday at Chingaya Village in Chotela District. The accused parents are Joseph Sebuguao, 60 years, and Christine Namukwaya, 52 years. The deceased is Christian David Tebandeka, a senior three student at Sarkarede Hat Chiterede 
Chitede Day Secondary School. He had returned home on Saturday to collect school fees when his parents allegedly killed him. Tebandeke had been told to watch over the by school in his parents' absence when it mysteriously disappeared. Fearing to suffer their wrath, he chose to keep quiet until his father asked for the motorcycle. Upon revealing to his parents that the motorcycle had been stolen, witnesses say his parents reprimanded him and started beating him. He is suspected to have died in the process. The couple informed local leaders and community members about their son's death. The following morning, they hurriedly arranged a requiem mass and burial without notifying the police. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.ug. I am Rarithi Nasajay.